Hi everyone, it's Khadija the Vegan and I'm going to talk about ugh, Iceland. Yes, you've heard, it's very expensive. But I'm going to give you some tips and let you know a little bit about it. So first off, I'm going to let you know, I went for just a brief trip. It was just like a weekend trip and it was back when they had, they had that airline WOW. The tickets were like 40% off of their already low prices, so I was like, we're going. So luckily we went because I read an article recently that tourism has decreased since WOW is no longer in service. But that would have been my number one discount had WOW still been in service. So let's go into the next discount. So we were mainly in Reykjavik. We had a great time. I really, really liked Iceland. I would definitely go again. It was freezing. We went in February, so if you go, be prepared. But back to our tip. So discount number one, I will say, is that you must see their Go To Lutheran Church. I'm gonna try my best to pronounce it, so let me grab the phone. Um, let's call it Hall Grimskurja. It's a beautiful church. It's built like this way. It goes up like that, and it's really beautiful. And we took a lot of pictures there. It's right in Reykjavik. You can walk. It's a tourist attraction. We didn't go in. We came later in the evening. But I say that's a discount. You can take great pictures. It's, you know, it's a landmark. It's great to see. My discount tip number two is Icelandic food is expensive. I read, I watched other YouTubers, and that's the main thing I saw. So we literally packed most of our meals for our trip. Lucky for us, we weren't staying long. But if you are staying long, I will say, pack your snacks, get your nuts, get your dried fruit. We had like sandwiches, we had bagels, we had everything. We had so much food packed that a good 95% of our meals were brought with us. So that's tip number two, BYOF, bring your own food. It is no joke. Their food is extremely expensive. So if you're gonna go try to, you know, take as much as you can. So tip number three. I'm gonna go into this one and this is how I do a lot of my travel. So within this tip, you're gonna get a majority of my tips for travel and that is using travel points. So I have the Chase Sapphire Preferred Card and within that, you can buy your airfare, you can buy your, get your hotels, you know, you use your car, you're going to buy, I use my car for regular groceries for everything, just so I can get points that I can use for travel. So for that, that's how I got all my excursions. I used my points and we got to go um, on the tour of their main um, tourist attractions which will be linked down below we um, were able to get our airport transfers I even had a tour lined up to see the Northern Lights unfortunately we missed the Northern Lights that we can move with there but you know it can really add up to go on tours and since we were there for such a short period of time you want to cram it on all in and get good tours and that's how I was able to do them I just use my points and um, I would say, you know, build because sometimes credit is an issue. You scroll before you can walk. You start with the Capital One. You build up your credit so you can get the Chase Preferred. I'm going to let you know a big fact. It is $450 a year for membership. Yes, take a breather. But you get back $300 immediately in travel credit. So it's really $150. It gives you access to priority lounges. You can get um, a whole lot of a whole lot of perks. So I'll, I'll put that there as well. So just to let you know, that was my discount number three. But it it, it really is a background of most of my travel. Number four. Number four is the splurge. So the splurge is going to be the blue lagoon. It was so magical. I use that word a lot, but it was really lovely. My kids and I it was just me and the teens, and um, we had a really nice time. We got the the cheapest package, which is still a hundred dollars. But I will say, in Iceland. If you're a teen under a certain age, they had teen rates, and that's even with the excursion. So they did the same thing with the Blue Lagoon. But for $100, you get a face mask and you get one drink. There are, you know, higher denominations that you can get, but we did that. And, I mean, you could just, just relax. We had space, and we were there on the weekend. 
and it was really just lovely i will say you know don't go to iceland and not do it because it's expensive i say it's worth the splurge i really enjoyed it and yes the water is warm because every that was like the top question is freezing there they put you out and it's warm wet water and it's massive and you get your own space so that is my definite splurge i will say please 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 if you're gonna go there do the blue lagoon now next we want to know whether or not it was vegan friendly so like you know i did not purchase a lot of food in iceland but in my research it did seem to be very vegan friendly so i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten i did see a lot of vegan options but the one place we walked to that wasn't too far from the cathedral that i told you about that i really can't pronounce is we went to cafe vinyl and we had a really good meal and really good dessert and it was a really nice vibe because it was very chill and artsy and very comfortable so they get seven out of ten carrots but now is it comfortable to be a person of color and surprisingly it was so i'm gonna give us one eight out of ten afros because we were comfortable like me to be walking around with my two teens and I will not say that I saw many blacks the whole time that I was there or you know people of color in general I did see people of color at the Blue Lagoon black Asian etc you know every denom every race was there but on the other tours or in town in Reykjavik it was rare to see another black person but people were friendly and helpful and they didn't make it seem like you know there weren't any weird glances so I was pretty comfortable in Iceland so I would definitely go back I really enjoyed it so if you have some tips too please share 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 sharing is caring and if you like what you see please like subscribe share with your friends comment and as you travel the world please please have fun and be safe see you next time guys